How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Isaac. Today's going to be a little weird. Oh, yeah. I forgot I already started that earlier. I'm going to try to do some greed mode stuff with Isaac and unlock the planetariums if possible. All I need to do is get three of either any of the horoscope items or, uh, like, the magic eight ball or the... What is it? The crystal ball. Which means I'm probably just going to reset on this... Wow, hi. That might not be a terrible thing to go for, actually. I was going to say I might just reset this first floor over and over until I see one of those items, but Birthright could be pretty good. Guess I'll try to stick with it for a minute. Never mind. Why are my stats not here? Well, that's weird. I don't remember turning that off. Wait a minute. Everything got reset. All my, all my settings. My HUD was not there. Didn't even have that one on. What happened with that? I, my computer did crash in the middle of trying to record earlier. That's why I had the uh, the continue like there to do. I, I guess it reset all my stuff when that happened for some reason. It's kind of weird. Well, yeah, I'm going to restart because I got that tears down. Hello. I'm just going to check this room and the shop over and over until I see one of the items that I need. I guess I can throw in some rerolls as well. Ah, oh, Cricket's Potty. This is going to be painful, I can already tell. I might also do, like, a, I don't know, a car run or something after this, just because the video is bound to be pretty short, even if I end up getting this. Because I don't even need to, uh, like, beat the game once I have the items. I'm pretty sure I just need to get three and then I'm good. And I have all the green mode unlocks. Well, I have Isaac's green mode unlock complete already, and I've already blown up the machine, so not a whole lot of reason to stick around in this mode. So far, not a lot of luck. I'm looking for specifically the Magic 8 Ball, because I'm pretty sure it's the only one that can actually show up, like, just here. Maybe the Crystal Ball? Uh, actually, I, I don't know how exactly how the shop works. You might be able to find the Constellation items in the shop. One of the things that was suggested was trying to find Chaos, so if I see that, I'm also going to go for it. I have a feeling this is going to take a while. Oh, whoa. That's kind of weird. Didn't know those crane machines could spawn in this mode. Ugh. That's the third time I've seen the marbles in here. Give me the fucking ball. Jesus, that looks insane. Oh, a free black candle back there. That's kind of cool. Still no friggin' planetarium items, though. Come on. Oh! <gasps> Okay, we got it. <laughs> I have never, ever been so happy to see this item in my life. Can I have nickel for key? Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, this run seems like it's going to be going pretty well. Hopefully I can actually find those planetarium items. If I end up playing through this entire greed run and not seeing any more, I'm going to cry. And also probably just give up on doing this for today because I just spent like 10 minutes resetting my game. And uh, honestly, it's not very fun. Kind of got bored of that extremely quickly. <laughs> I even like had a thought like maybe I should throw on some music or like listen to a podcast or something while I'm doing this. But then like right as I had that thought, I ended up, you know, getting the run where I got it. So never mind. I also just... I fully don't understand how it's taken me this long to unlock the planetariums. I remember ooh, on my first save file when Repentance first came out, I got them within like fucking two runs of starting Repentance. Here I am. This is technically, I think, episode 100, even though I might not count it as that because it's not even going to be like a full episode. And I still don't have it. Apparently, I'm just not allowed cool things. Okay, I take that back. I did get a cool uh, Holy Spirit Scythe yesterday in the Samael video. Samael. Samuel. I would do an actual full-length video today, but I really don't feel like it. So there's that. I was looking at some guides for like you know, how to unlock planetariums easier before this, and... Only thing that I kept repeatedly seeing was play Tainted Cane and then craft the items you need. 
I don't think I can do that anymore. I think uh, with the changes they made to Tainted Cane and like that uh, patch a couple months ago or whatever, I think they they made that impossible. I don't I don't think you ever really get a chance to like choose exactly what item you're going after unless I misread the patch notes and uh, he can in fact still do that. In which case I'm stupid. Woo! That onion is a good tears up. Kind of want to reroll this. Wow. <laughs> I do not regret that. Yes, got through before the black hearts got poked. Suck me dry. This is satisfying. I don't even care that I got hit. I just like my, my two tears hitting him at the same time. I don't get 2020 very often. In fact, I'm not sure I've ever gotten it on the channel <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, which is kind of insane. Again, this is a hundred episodes in to my Binding of Isaac series. Maybe here? I mean, that's not bad, I guess. Wait. Going in the curse room. Fuck Black Hearts. Oh my god, I almost went in that hole. That would have been annoying. Ooh. That's a terrible idea. And I'm completely down. <laughs> Definitely not gonna <laughs> be able to fucking beat Ultra Greed with this, but I don't care. Alright, you know what? I got a fucking achievement for that? Are you serious? Well, I guess that wasn't a complete loss. You know what? I'm just gonna wait until the planetarium's unlocked naturally. Let's go play the fucking car. Swoosh! Whoa, I, I didn't mean to start this yet, and I just, like, tried to save myself from dying, and then um, it kind of thought I was going to die, and then hit a wall, and I didn't die when I hit that wall, and I'm still going, so I guess we're starting now. I was not ready for that. I, God, I was, okay. I was planning on, <laughs> I was planning on, like, cutting the video to, like, when I was already driving, and just, like, have my, just be, like, screaming, like, whoa! But it started way faster than I expected it to, and I guess I'm just in it now. Just like last time, my goal is to kill Mom, but this time, I'm gonna get further. God, this is hard to control. Oh yeah, I need to remember I can fucking- I can break? Which, I mean, I can't like, break all the way, but I can get to this speed, which is... more controllable? Still not fantastic! <laughs> But you gotta go full balls to the walls for extra fun. The scariest shit is when you just, like, accidentally enter a dead end. You had no way of telling it was a dead end, but now you're there, and now you're gonna hit a wall and die. Luckily, I won't, because... Oh, did you see that? That entrance into the hole, that was prime. You gotta see your item, very important. It's the zit. Out of here. Oh, I can break the cool unbro un 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 unbrockable brocks. <laughs> Unbreakable blocks is what I was trying to say. Also, it's kind of funny to me that this character technically has half a soul heart, because that's the same deal with the Lost. Ooh. I, I'm gonna be honest, I like looked away for like half a second for some reason when I, when I entered the boss room. I have no idea who the boss was. I just went in and ran them over. Oh yeah, I can go over gaps. I don't know why I thought that was a wall I could go through. Oh, an XL floor. That cuts down some time. Especially if I go straight to the boss, which it seems like I'm doing. Yep. Hey, buddies. Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't even do the first one yet. <laughs> that was not on purpose, but I will fucking take it. Hey, I'm already back on the floor I died on. Jesus, that did not take a long time. We're here. Bumpino. Oh, I wish I could actually see his death animation. I really like it. All right, get in there. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. My goal is not mom. My goal is at least mom's heart. If I don't make it to at least mom's heart, I keep going. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can I do the ascent path? No way. Hold on. This is important. I have to figure this out now. Hey, Stan. Hey, I'll see what's in the angel. Sure. Wish I could have that protection. 
Hey, whoever the developer of this mod is, uh, make an animation for the card going down the hole. I, I don't think I don't think it needs to be a good animation. Just like literally rotate the car and then have it like down the hole. You know, I think that would add a lot to the mod. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. This is already perfect and flawless in every single way, but. Perfect doesn't mean it can't be made better, except it does. I, oh, I, I honestly can't tell what the flat tire is exactly doing. Like, it says on the screen, uh, but I don't think it's right. That's what I get for disagreeing with the game. Do I get pop tires for going through a curse room door? Can I even go through the curse room door? <laughs> oh, I went through that time. No pop tires, though. Yeah, okay, friction slash vulnerability up. First of all, I you definitely made the friction fucking less. I, I, I lost so much control when I popped the tires there. Second of all, what the fuck does vulnerability mean? I die in one hit regardless. Why does it say that the friction goes up? It definitely doesn't. I just double checked. Is there a tainted car? Oh, Jesus, I did not mean to go there. If this were any other floor, I'd be dead. Can they go on the hole? Thank you. Well, I guess I wouldn't be dead on here, because there would be a mines door, and I wouldn't be dead on the depths, because there would be a mausoleum door. So, I'm wrong. There's always going to be one room in the boss rooms, or one side of the boss rooms, that's safe to run right through. <laughs> that actually fucking worked. Am I going to get the health for it? Oh my god, I actually got the health. Well, that's surprising. I'm pretty sure it's going to do absolutely fuck all. Also, one thing that I kept seeing a lot in uh, in Hutz's video where he covered this is he was dying to the skinny rooms a lot. I'm not even finding any skinny rooms, so I don't know how he did that. Hello, peep. I love seeing them go flying off. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have shit talk tuts. Why did I have to set such a high bar trying to go after fucking Mob's Heart or the Ascent Path? I'll do either at this point, if, if the Ascent Path is a possible thing. Yeah, oh, fuck. This, this, this mod is so easy and also simultaneously the hardest thing I have ever done in my entire life. Oh. Exhibit A! Oh, I've forgotten completely about the breaking again. <laughs> I should probably be using that a little bit. Ah, fuck it. You know what? New goal. Making it all the way to Mom's heart. No breaking. <laughs> they call me the most insane man in the room. I started spinning at the perfect time for the fucking music, and I was right over the trapdoor. Let's go. I love that I just broke right through the challenge room door right there, is what I was going to say. I don't even know why I went down that path. I really should not have. Well, see you guys in a couple floors. I want somebody to do, like, a, a pacifist run with the car, where they just kill, like, all the bosses, obviously, because you need to. But, like, managing to get through all of the other rooms without killing a single enemy. If somebody could do that, which they can't, I would be very impressed. And I mean, you have to, like, win a run. Like, at least make it to fucking Mom's Heart like I'm trying to do. Without killing a single regular enemy. And without being killed by the game putting a skinny room under me. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know I made fun of Putz for dying to that earlier, and now I've died to it twice. Makes me look like a fool. You know what? I'm gonna allow myself one rule, uh, as far as the whole no-breaking thing. It's got a curse of the maze back there, are you serious? I'm allowed to break, but only once the boss is dead on the floor, just so I can have a little bit of an easier time getting into the trapdoor, because I've killed myself on these boss walls a good couple times now. Can you please? Thank you. The breaking makes it so much easier to get in there. Oh, I barely got into that room the right way, Jesus. I was way too, fa too high up, I almost died. Oh, perfection. You shouldn't have. Did that show up the other times, or have I just not made it to the third floor boss yet? Stop doing this! 
Oh, I fucking hate the spikes. Oh my god, that is so hard to control. Hey, Stain. I, I feel like I've killed Stain more than, like, any other boss in this video, and I don't understand why that is. That's, like, the fourth Stain I've run over. Maybe third. Definitely not the second. Stop your fucking spiky flat shit, fuck. Oh, I'm here. Get him. Get in the hole. Get in the hole! Oh, fuck. Get in the fucking hole! I need to break, I need to break. Go. Oh. I start panicking when I start fucking up the driving, and then that makes me start fucking up the driving more. And I start panicking more. It's a vicious cycle. No, why did I go up here? Okay, I'm good. I need to be really centered with all the entrances to the doors, because if I hit the wall into a skinny room, I die instantly. Skinny room. Oh, be careful. It's not even the right way. Fucking shit, stop. <laughs> why did there have to be spikes down there too? Stop, mom. Gotcha. Boss rush? <laughs> yes, I'm doing it. I died here last time because I was a moron, but this time... Wait a minute, I'm not even going to be able to start it. Never mind, I got the sad onion. That wasn't even what I picked up. Last thing I expected to, was to actually be able to pick that up. Whoa, I can kill the haunt when he's invisible? That's awesome. Why is this more fun than any other boss rush I've ever done? For, for like fucking 30 seconds I was listening to this song and I was like, man! This is really- oh, it's gone. I was like, man, this is really fucking familiar. Why, like, why is this so familiar? I know this song. Am I an idiot for not being able to think of it? It's fucking Golden Wind. Oh, I don't know if that's what the song's called, but it's the song for Golden Wind, you know. Teratoma! These actually- these splitting bosses technically actually have some difficulty to them. I can't one-shot them, and I have to run around and hit all their individual parts. It's kind of a challenge. Oh fuck, I'm scared. Just just go in the hole. I'm too I'm too far into this to not wait. We're here. I we're the last floor. This is my challenge. This is my what? <laughs> this was my goal. Why am I killing enemies? I need to go. Come on, don't fuck me over. Don't fuck me up. Oh, please don't tell me the boss is down through that skinny room. Don't you dare with the fucking spikes. I have to go through that again. Okay, okay. Let's just wait for the friction to fucking stop. Okay, let's get all centered. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna check every other path before I go down the skinny path, because the skinny path scares me. The boss actually does not seem to be down the skinny path anyway. He's right over here. Hey, it lives. What's up? Bonk! Wait, hush? Hush is a fantastic idea. Hold on. Hey. <laughs> No way I don't still one-shot Hush, right? That's like, you know, I got it, I got it, right? <laughs> I could go to Delirium. Hmm, kind of tempting. You know what? Fuck it. Car versus Delirium. <laughs> hey, why do I see the void? Like, what's up with the stages here? I see the void twice. Well, that's quite weird. Honestly, I don't feel like I'm going to be able to do this. Unless I can find Delirium very quickly, because the void is a huge floor. A lot of opportunities for me to hit a wall and die. Plus there's, you know, like 90,000 boss rooms. So even if I do find a boss room, it's probably not going to be him. Yeah, hi. Which, by the way... I fell to my death? What? <laughs> what? I guess the dark room is the car's worst nightmare. 
I did not expect that to end like that. I was going to say uh, that that was fucking stupid that I that I didn't find Delirium right there because the last two or three times I've tried to do the Void in normal runs, the first boss room I entered has been Delirium every time. Well, I guess we're done with that. If you enjoyed this episode, even though it was weird as hell, uh, go ahead and, I guess, leave a like and comment, subscribe, all that. I'm going to play some ale again tomorrow. Uh, and try to do the true ending that people were talking about in my comments. I actually didn't know about that true ending before I did the run yesterday, and uh, I went down the wrong path completely by accident, because I just... I didn't know. I went down the, the dark room path. Apparently you can't do that for the secret ending. Uh, well, I'll see you guys next time. I have nothing more to say. Fuck you.